Okay, so this is a review of the Bosto King T 22HD, just released, and uh, you'll have to excuse. I've never done a, a review before, so I'm not used to drawing and talking at the same time. So if I do go quiet for a while, I apologize. Uh, I just concentrate too much on what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, I uh, just received this today and uh, been playing around with a couple of hours. Uh, I'm currently in uh, Corel Paint 13 at the moment. Um, and I thought instead of just showing lines, lines and lines, uh, I thought I'd uh, show the process of uh, painting a quick picture. Um, uh, what can I say? Well, uh, the pen's very nice, um, it's smooth. Um, The pressure sensitivity is good, uh, especially in Painter. You can uh, really feel the uh, the 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity at work. And um, and yeah, the screen is absolutely lovely. Uh, HIPS full 1920 by 1080, so you get uh, you get a really nice, clear, sharp picture. Um, because before I brought this I had the Cintiq 12WX and although a fantastic uh, piece of hardware the screen size was just way too small and uh, every time you were, you were painting you, you felt like you were painting in a, a small box it was very um, it was very uncomfortable um, I do have an issue with the uh, button on the uh, King T. Uh, it doesn't seem to uh, register uh, when you change these keys here. As you can see, you can go to app, not application. Uh, keyboard and you would think you could just put in spacebar click OK let's take in spacebar twice uh, clean space OK so you think then you can press the right but then you see the hand appears but as much as I move the pen it doesn't move like the space bar which should pan the screen uh, which is unfortunate uh, hopefully that will be sorted out in the next um, in the next update and that comes out hopefully next month uh, let's just change this to right click ok save and so here yeah you've got uh, all your pressure sensitivity uh, your nib pressure, your nib click sensitivity uh, you can test it out here it's um, it's nice, um, but it doesn't it doesn't always register small clicks. Um, this is an issue I heard was with the 19MA as well uh, and the MB. Um, well, of course, never not using one of those models. I don't know how they are, but I can only. Um, I can only uh, describe how the Cintiq was and um, that was quite responsive this isn't as responsive but still very nice okay so we'll save that and quit out of there so uh, back to the painting I've got to say I wasn't a huge fan of painter 
when I had the 12WX. Uh, again, like I said before, it felt like I was uh, painting in a in a small box. Um, everything was everything was cramped in one small space. But here, I've got I've got all this area to work with, and uh, it, it's much nicer. Uh, so let's draw his eyes in here. Uh, and for anybody wondering, uh, this is meant to be Link from uh, Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. It's the uh, HD version is meant to be being released soon. So I thought I'd do a a little fun picture of Link with his huge bulging eyes and uh, like I say if anybody's got any questions don't uh, uh, don't forget to add them in the comments I'll try and get back to you as quick as possible um, Try and think of more things to say for the uh, the tablet itself. Um, oh, that's not a that's not a good mouth. Let's uh, let's put him with a little smaller mouth. I was never too fond of uh, the Wind Waker style. Very. Uh, very strange, I always preferred the Ocarina of Time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see, the uh, the brushes are nicer and responsive. Um, Bosto have said that they are going to be working on uh, tilt functionality uh, soon. Um, but I, I've never really been bothered with uh, tilt functionality, in fact with the uh, with the Cintiq, especially in in Painter, um, it annoyed me quite a bit sometimes because I hold my pen at quite an angle, and um, when I wanted to draw something, it would just draw a big smudgy line, and that wasn't what I always wanted. So uh, it will be a nice feature once it's put in uh, but it, it's not necessary um, so I've only really been playing with this for a few hours uh, I have tested it on multiple programs uh, Photoshop uh, belly there. Uh, Photoshop, um, Manga Studio, uh, worked very nice in Manga Studio actually. Uh, um, I had a couple of issues with GIMP and with my paint, even though Bosto said that my paint was one of the better programs to use, I just couldn't get it working. Every time I put the pen down, it appeared on a completely different area of the screen, which I thought was very strange because paint is, uh, my paint is usually very good uh, w with any standard uh, tablet. So, let's draw his sword in there. But uh, as you can see, the the, the, the pen's very responsive. Um, slow and fast. Uh, very light, very thick lines. Slow, fast. There's there's no lag at all, uh, which is is lovely. It's very responsive, and uh, I'm absolutely loving 
having the bigger screen I find uh, I find it much easier to use than the small 12WX uh, I just hope that Bosto correct these uh, just these small issues with the pen but it's it, it's early days uh, I mean this tablet only came out probably less than a month ago so it's understandable that it's not going to work 100% perfectly Canvas, that's why. Silly boy. Right, well, we'll have to make do. Um, so, yeah, it's. Uh, if anybody is wondering, I'm recording on um, Camtasia at the moment, uh, as I've only got a small handy cam, and that doesn't pick up very well so I've decided just to use Camtasia and record the screen directly and, uh, let's put his shield on Well, not perfect, but uh, <laughs> you you get uh, you get the idea of how the the pen works and uh, how the screen looks. And uh, like I say, I'll give it a go with some more programs, and then. Uh, post that up when I've uh, played around with it a bit more so yeah back soon <laughs> 